today we're headed to Chandler and specifically I am showing you the Ocotillo neighborhood in Chandler. It all starts right now so make sure you stick around and check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Caitlin McCagg. I'm a realtor here in Phoenix, Arizona. I got a little bit of a different background this week. We've got some new patio furniture out here. I'm still trying to soak up the days that aren't super hot uh, while I can outside and enjoy the time with Zoe and Cleo out here. We'll see if they make an appearance, but they are here. We've got Cleo right there and Zoe is right there. They're both just laying down, enjoying the outdoors. <laughs> okay, let's get back here. If this is your first time to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I post two new videos every week, whether it's about market updates on Phoenix real estate or neighborhood tours like I'm doing today. All that information might be interesting to you, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And check out my social media. Let's be friends there so you can keep up to date that way as well. Okay, so today I'm taking you on a neighborhood tour of Chandler, Arizona, and specifically the Ocotillo neighborhood. Chandler is the fourth largest city in Arizona, and it's known as one of the fastest growing technology centers in the nation. It's located in the East Valley, just off of the I-10 and the 101. It's super convenient to get on any of these freeways to get to other areas of the valley from Chandler. The Ocotillo neighborhood is located in South Chandler and it offers about 3,500 homes as well as the Ocotillo Golf Club. What's unique about Ocotillo is that these homes are situated on waterways or the golf course. So there's a lot of scenery around this neighborhood. The location is great to get anywhere in the Tech Corridor, the Chandler Fashion Center, or downtown Chandler. In addition to that, it's easy to pop up to Scottsdale or over to Gilbert or Mesa, wherever you need to go. The median home price in Ocotillo is about $490,000. And you'll find 22 golf courses and 13 parks within 10 miles. As for dining, there's about 98 different restaurants to choose from within five miles. The schools in the Chandler area and close to Ocotillo are highly rated. To name a few, Basha Elementary, Bogle Junior High, and Hamilton High School. As I mentioned earlier, what's unique about Chandler is it's a huge tech hub. We have many different companies that are wanting to come to the Chandler area to put their corporate offices or even start a startup business. There are five designated employment corridors. The Air Park area, Downtown Chandler, Price Corridor, Uptown Chandler, and West Chandler. Within these five areas, there is current business activity and land reserved for future employment uses. Chandler is known as the community of innovation, and it has a rich history of employing tech manufacturing for the last 50 years. Intel was one of the first, and since then, there are major companies like Microchip, PayPal, Infusionsoft, NXP, Northrop Grumman, and Avnet. Some of the key industries in the area are autonomous vehicle R&D, aviation and aerospace, business and financial services, healthcare and bioscience, high-tech manufacturing, and IT and software. So if you're looking to relocate somewhere where there are a lot of job opportunities, Chandler is certainly one of the top spots to consider here in the Phoenix area. If you choose to live in the Ocotillo neighborhood, it is just a quick drive over to downtown Chandler, which is a super cute old downtown area. 
They have lots of fun things to do, like yoga in the park and farmer's markets on the weekends. There's also great shopping and dining, and it's just a fun place to be able to walk around, enjoy the outdoors when the weather's nice, and some local spots. There's a park in the center of the historic downtown that has additional activities depending on the season and events that they have planned. As for shopping, Chandler Fashion Center is not too far away and that has a ton of shopping and restaurants. It offers 180 different stores like Apple and Lululemon and a variety of restaurants, some chain restaurants and some more locally focused. If all of that information isn't enough to get you interested in Chandler, here are a few other things that might pique your interest. Chandler has received a lot of different rankings, and here are a few. The second most prosperous large cities by Economic Innovation Group in 2020, the sixth most livable city in the US by Smart Asset 2020, eighth best untapped cities for startups by Fundera 2020, eighth best city to buy a family home by wallet hub in 2020 the 13th best place to find a job according to wallet hub 14th best city for women in tech according to smart asset and 15th best city for women entrepreneurs according to fundera so if any of those things interest you, Chandler might be the place for you. Check out the description below. I have a link so you can search my MLS for homes for sale in Chandler. And hey, if you're thinking about selling your home in Chandler, check out your instant home valuation below as well. It is definitely a seller's market and you might be shocked to find out what you could get for your home if you're considering selling it. Before I go, let's talk about the dog of the week. Every week I mention an adoptable dog that's located at a local animal shelter here in Phoenix in hopes that we can find their forever home. This week I'm talking about Clint at the Underdog Rescue. Clint is a boxer mix and he is about one year old. He is great with people that he knows but a little wary of people that he doesn't know yet. So they're focusing on doing a lot of training with him so that he will be a great family pet. If you're interested in adopting him, they do require that you follow up with a few training sessions after adoption. There's some other information that's specific to Clint, so make sure you'd be the right fit for Clint, or if you know someone, make sure to pass along his profile so we can get him adopted. That's a wrap on Chandler. I hope that information is helpful. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, call, text, or email. You can also click in the description below and set up a time to chat with me if you have any questions about buying or selling real estate. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching this video. Until next week, I am Caitlin McKegg with HomeSmart.